and girls! It's Storyteller Tammany time! Yay! And I'm excited about this book. Well, when am I not excited about a book, honestly? But this book is about have you filled your buckets? It's about friendship and kindness and the importance of giving to others and how to do that. So let's see how we do that. Let's learn. All day long, Everyone in the whole wide world walks around carrying an invisible bucket. You can't see it, but it's there. Okay, so this is people from all around the world. There's the invisible bucket. And what do we fill it with? I wonder. You have a bucket. Each member of your family has a bucket. Your grandparents, friends, and neighbors all have buckets. Everyone carries an invisible bucket. So there's your friends and family, or rather, that's just your family. And then there's your friends and family, teachers, classmates, all that. Everyone carries an invisible bucket. Your bucket has only one purpose. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and good feelings about yourself. You feel happy and good when your bucket is full and you feel sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. Mm -hmm. And there's a kid with an empty bucket. He's feeling sad and lonely. Other people feel the same way too. They're happy when their buckets are full and they're sad when their buckets are empty. Okay, I'll show you that. It's great to have a full bucket and this is how it works. Other people can fill your bucket and you can fill theirs. You can fill your own bucket too. So how do you fill a bucket? You fill a bucket when you show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you give someone a smile. That's being a bucket filler. A bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says and does nice things to make others feel special. When you treat others with kindness and respect, you fill their bucket. Mm -hmm. But you can also dip into a bucket and take out some good feelings. You dip into a bucket when you make fun of someone when you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore someone. That's bucket dipping. Bullying is bucket dipping. When you hurt others, you dip into their bucket. You will dip into your own bucket too, although you may not realize it. Mm. Many people who dip have an empty bucket. They may think they can fill their own bucket by dipping into someone else's bucket, but that will never work. You never fill your own bucket when you dip into someone else's. But guess what? When you feel someone fill someone else's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. You feel good when you help others feel good. All day long, we are either filling up or dipping into each other's buckets by what we say and what we do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. You love your mom and dad. Why not tell them you love them? You can even tell them why. Your caring words will fill their buckets with joy. Aww. Mm -hmm. That's true. Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good clue that you have filled a bucket. If you practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket and think of what you can say or do to fill it. Mm -hmm.
Here are some ideas for you. You could smile and say hi to the bus driver. He has a bucket too. Bet you didn't know your bus driver has a bucket. You could invite the new kid at school to play with you. You could write a thank you note to your teacher. You could tell your grandpa that you like spending time with him. There are many ways to fill a bucket. Bucket filling is fun and easy to do. It doesn't matter how old or how young you are. It doesn't cost money. It doesn't take much time. And remember, when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. When you're a bucket filler, you make your home, your school, and your neighborhood better places for all. Bucket filling makes everyone feel good. So there we've got, looks like bucket fillers in all those houses and buildings. So why not decide to be a bucket filler today and every day? Just start each day by saying to yourself, I'm going to do something to fill someone's bucket today. At the end of the day, ask yourself, did I fill a bucket today? Yes, I did. That's the life of a bucket filler. And that's you. You are a bucket filler. All right, isn't that a lovely book? I think I'm gonna go a step further and say that bucket fillers get most of their bucket joy and happiness from God. Because yes, giving each other good feelings and helping each other feel good, it fills your bucket. But there is a time when you can't have your bucket filled fully by them. It, you can never be fully filled by another person. The only way that you can fill the bucket inside of you is through God. He created you to be that way. While you were in your mother's womb growing as a baby, he created a hole inside of you that can only be filled with him. And he wants you to find them, find him and realize that. And then when you fill yourself with him, when you allow him to fill you up with good things and love and joy and peace, then you can fill others' buckets. And that's the best way to fill a bucket. Because if you try to give from your own bucket, you become empty. So you need to dip into God's bucket because his bucket is never empty. And you can dip into his bucket and it won't, dip, it won't take out of your bucket. So that's what I would say is a little different from what this author said. There's nothing wrong with what they've said. Just that the ultimate bucket that you can receive love and joy and peace and kindness and goodness from is God. All right, boys and girls, I'm so excited to read books to you. Oh, I love this so much. If you enjoyed this and this is your first time, hit the subscribe button and join us. If you'd like to make sure you get every story, you make sure and hit that little bell and it'll give you a notification every time there's a new story. Okay, I look forward to this so much. Bye-bye.